Hello everyone, I'm Felice Colucci and today I'm going to be showing you the non-heat method. It's a very simple method, simple method to mix dough. This was invented a few centuries ago. This will allow you to mix any kind of dough with any kind of hydration with minimal efforts. We start with this. The madia, the typical uh, wooden uh, table or container to mix dough. I'm making simple dough, a kilogram of flour. I'm going to be adding the yeast, just grams on a kilogram of flour. I'm going to mix a little bit of flour, pull the salt, 2.5% based on the width of the flour, and all the water all at once. I'm mixing 75% hydrogen dough, so 750 grams of water on a kilogram of flour. Now, the only thing that I'm going to do is just roughly mix the ingredients, I don't want to create the gluten, I will just remove all the ingredients. After this, we're going to cover the dough and let it rest for, for at least 15 minutes and we'll keep mixing. Now, just a little tip, since we're mixing by hand or even with a mixer and it will not be involved a lot of friction, I will suggest you to start with the water at room temperature, not a cold water in this case. So this step wouldn't take longer than couple of minutes, we need just to incorporate all the flour that was there. I don't want to create the dough, but just to melt all the ingredients and to absorb all the flour. So, our dough is ready for now. I'm going just to clean my hands, scrap my day with the, the container so we don't have a lot of dough or flour all over. and we'll keep mixing in about 15 minutes, 15 minutes so make sure that the container is clean, all the ingredients are incorporated, and that's it. So you can see the dough is not even ready, we just we have this mix of ingredients together that we're gonna rest for 15 minutes and then we'll keep mixing again, or oh, kneading again. Okay, dough has been resting for 15 minutes. You can see it doesn't look like a, a regular dough, uh, but definitely looks more relaxed. Uh, now, all I'm gonna do is transfer the dough from the container to the table. I'm gonna start kneading a little bit, so you'll see the difference in how the dough will look like after a few shake, after a few folding. Of course, the dough is very wet, soft, 75% hydration. And we'll see, there's still spot with dry flour and chunks of dough that have not been incorporated. We'll see how the magic, when the magic will, will happen, when it'll start folding a little bit of dough. So, pretty simple. I just fold it on itself. And then put it all the sides. Not bad, right? The dough looks pretty dense, pretty together, there is a nice gluten. I'm gonna just let the dough ferment, uh, rest for another 15 minutes. I'm gonna knead it one more time and then the dough will be ready. So the 75% may be in a few minutes without a lot of efforts. So third and final step, we're gonna just knead a little bit of the dough and uh, we'll see if we're gonna have a nice 75% without a uh, with the minimal efforts. Much more different than before when we started. It's almost unbelievable, in my opinion. This is the 75% hydration made in three steps. Minimal work. Uh, again, just I just roughly mixed the ingredients the first time, let it rest for 15 minutes. If you fold to reinforce the dough, other 15 minutes of resting and the final folding. Now the dough will be resting based on your uh, method. Uh, this dough will be resting for a couple of hours and then we're gonna proceed to boil it and continue with the regular procedure. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video and the uh, knowledge method. Bye.